Hello everyone and today I will teach you how to write the letter D. So the letter D kind of resembles uh, the letter A in some ways because you just start with a little curve here, go up and go down. So it's basically the letter A but uh, with a little uh, higher second stroke. That's the most basic D there. Okay, so let's try some variations we've learned from the letter A. Okay, what if we connect it? Yeah, that's a little volume here. Yes, that's nice. Okay, and we even uh, can have it as a loop, but be very careful with it, because sometimes it can look not so nice. Okay, the other variant is just as we've learned from the letter A kind of like this or we can add a little thingy in here just as we've uh, had on the letter A so if you have something similar in your letter A in your lettering then add it to D as well now let's try it with a brush pen and italic style just as we do every time just stroke down thin stroke up and another stroke down and a thin stroke up you will get used to it <laughs> okay so let's try this one with a little bit of volume up top okay going up down and yeah that's nice Okay, and let's try this one out. This one could be pretty tricky. I like to start here pretty thin and then go up and connect it here with it. But be careful with it because uh, it could easily not in line with other letters. Uh, because it can have a different angle here. So you see this one's are like this and this one is already kind of like this. But we don't need it, so we will correct it. And we'll get it a little bit in here. Something like this. Yes. So keep this thing in mind because if you use this one it can be not in line with the in other letters. Let's try the last ones. Like this and just a regular one. Okay, let's try it in a word now. Let's start with the word dust. That's the first thing that came to my mind. So let's use just the regular T. U. S. And a T. Dust. Okay, let's try something different. For example, this one with the word dank.
Okay, and let's try another thing here. Let's add a lot of volume to the down part of the letters. Yeah, that looks pretty cool now. The last word, I will use the word ride. You've already seen my favorite R. I will try to make a different, but it's not guaranteed. Yeah, I will make a different R. So, let's make it kind of like this. And let's make this variant here a little bit of volume up top. Yes, that looks pretty nice. It just needs a little bit of more volume up top and a little bit more down here. Yes, that looks cool. So that's how you write the letter D.